So our pile has 50 rows in the, 50 logs in the first row, 45 in the next, and then just keep subtracting five until you get five logs in that top row. Mm -hmm. Now you can see that this is an arithmetic sequence and D is negative five because we keep subtracting five. And in this case, they want to know how many rows. So we're looking for what N is. We're looking for the number of terms until we get to five. Now, this isn't a very big number. You could just keep subtracting five until you get to this and count up how many rows that is. In fact, you can totally do that to check. But if the numbers are nasty or if your teacher wants to see your work, fine. We'll use a formula. So arithmetic, uh, nothing about a sum yet. So we're using the formula for the nth term of an arithmetic. So nth term we can get by taking the first term and adding that common difference, n minus 1 times. So I know that my last term that I'm looking for, the value of the nth term, is 5. And the first term is 50. The common difference is 5, or negative 5. But I just don't know that n, right? I don't know how many terms there are. But thankfully, this formula only has one unknown I can solve. So what I can do, this is uh, lots of ways to solve. I'm going to distribute first, I suppose. So 5 equals 50 minus 5n plus 5. So 5 will equal 55 minus 5n. So if I subtract 55 from both sides, I get minus 50 equals negative 5n. Divide by negative 5, I get n is 10. So there should be 10 rows. You can check it. It should work. Wonderful. Now they want to know how many logs we have in the, in the pile. So again, you could write out the values of all of them and add them all up. Yeah. But if we want a formula, fine. It's arithmetic. We want the sum of all of them, right? The sum of all of them. So we're using the formula arithmetic sum. So you can get a sum by being the number of terms times the first term plus the last term divided by 2. So the number of rows we figured out was 10. The first term is 50. The last term is 5 divided by 2. Heck yeah, I can do this. This is 5 times 55. 5 times 55 is 275. And that's that. Awesome.